The coalition's defeat, it was a very bad one. The Liberal Party primary vote, the National Party primary vote's lowest ever. We know all that. Uh, but there's been a lot of focus, it seems to me, on the votes or the support they, lo they lost, if you like, to the left. I mean, we're talking about largely the Teal candidates, some votes lost to Labour, a few to the Greens uh, in places like Brisbane. We've talked a lot about that, but it seems to be much less talked about, in time, indeed probably almost entirely ignored in the mainstream, are the votes they lost at the Conservative end which your movement was was quite a significant player, right? You said you were campaigning against Liberal uh, MPs, sitting Liberal MPs in key seats. And I think there's evidence that you made a difference in those seats. Would you agree with that? Well, uh, I agree with it. And in fact, I know it because we did the polling. So we, we surveyed the seats before our campaign and we surveyed the seats after our campaign. And we know without a shadow of a doubt that we made that without the difference we made, some of those MPs might not have lost their seats. So there was five whose record we wanted to highlight and we wanted to highlight their record no, name, as effectively no, name names, voting against. Name names, Martin. Who were those five? <laughs> OK, well... Fine. There's, uh, there's, there's, there's Katie Allen, uh, there's uh, uh, Fiona Martin, uh, Bridget Archer, uh, Dave Sharma, uh, Trent Zimmerman. Uh, so those are five people whose voting record in the parliament just didn't stack up with what the prime minister, with what their own party said they believed in. Freedom, religious freedom, uh, the rights of associational freedoms, you know, Christian schools able to be Christian, for example. Uh, that's the diversity of a society that a liberal vision is supposed to encompass. Um, uh, but they didn't vote for that. They voted against it. Uh, and so we found ourselves in a situation where we had to hold them to account for causing that key election promise to faith communities to fail. Um, and so we campaigned in those seats. We highlighted their record. Uh, and four of those five lost their seat. Uh, the one that hung on was Bridget Archer, but I note she got a very, very, very tiny swing towards her compared to the neighbouring electorates of Braddon and Lyons, which are demographically similar, where you saw a 5% plus swing to the coalition. So I think we made a, a pretty big dent in her situation there uh, in Bath nonetheless. Uh, and uh, we saw them lose their seats and the fanfare from the mainstream media was, oh, it's the Teals, oh, it's climate change. Oh, well, you know, this, is, this means the Liberal Party needs to go after climate change. Well, we did the polling and we know from the polls that we did in those seats that our campaign directly influenced more votes than it took for those MPs to lose those seats. Yeah. So that's true in Trent Zimmerman's seat, Dave Sharma's seat, Fiona Martin's seat, at least where our campaign made a decisive difference. I'm conflicted here. Let me put my conflict right on the table. You're talking about five MPs who are friends of mine, uh, you're including one uh, who my, was my local member who I voted for. Uh, so I feel some sympathy for them. But on the other hand, you're a friend of mine. I regard many people in the ACL as very good friends of mine, Jim Wallace uh, and, and others of that ilk. So I'm torn here. But look, I get why you did it. I, at the very least, I understand what, why you did it. And I think the moment of realisation for me on this was back in 2019. You can correct me on the date. Everything pre-COVID seems a long time away. But the, if you remember, there was a vote in the New South Wales Parliament on measures to uh, liberalise abortion that, uh, you know, had not come out of nowhere. Uh, you know, the, the, the Berejiklian Liberal government had introduced uh, these measures straight after an election. Nobody was quite sure why she was doing it. And I was passing by Martin Place while this debate was going on, and Martin Place was full to the gills with people protesting against this legislation. And when I looked around and I talked to people, there were people I knew, they were your people, they were my people, they were friends of mine, protesting against a Liberal government decision on a matter of fundamental, what is to many of us, a fundamental principle, and that is the sanctity of life and, and the right of human beings to take a life.